going sweet little sweetheart right here on the sessions on 107.6 uh, I'm Dave. Hello. 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 Tell me a bit about yourself and tell me a bit about your music. Uh, well, I am a drummer by trade okay. and I have been for the longest kind of time as I'm quite old now. Uh, okay. But my hobby, hobby has always been uh, songwriting and I've always, I've, I think I've always done it, but in recent years I've decided to take it a bit more seriously and a bit more organised and uh, I've written lots of songs in the meantime. Okay, you know? um, and we're going to play four or five songs yeah, mm -hmm, live yeah, tonight yeah, in the studio. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, tell me a bit about the first song. Uh, this song is uh, called I uh, Can't Do Goodbyes. Um, it's about that horrible feeling when you've been spent a lot of time with someone uh, and you got to say cheerio to them and you know you're not going to see them for a very long time. That, and you're just waving goodbye to them at the airport or the train station and it's that horrible feeling in your stomach that you get. Just uh, go when you're ready. Right, thank you.
that was I Can't Do Goodbyes by Kenny McCabe right here on the sessions on 107.6. Thanks very much for that beautiful song. Cheers, man. Uh, yeah. My interesting chord thing, you were do- I was watching what you were doing. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I'm trying to work out what you're <laughs> no, doing. No, I make it up as I go along, man. You know? I, I can't can't work it out. There was a B minor thing in there. I've got the cap one, so it's higher up. I'm trying to work out. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. So that was a, a, for the for technical, that was a, a drop C tune in, but on drop Capo C. 5. Yes, yeah, so Okay, drop <laughs> C with Capo 5. Right, okay. Which is horrible because I've got to tune back up from it. So That's alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can yeah. drag things out for a yeah. few seconds. <laughs> uh, this is the sessions. This is East Coast FM. Uh, thank you to everybody out there for staying in touch and for being in touch and for staying tuned in. Uh, we're in the studio with Kenny McCabe. He's going to give us another song in a few minutes' time. Um, thank you very much to Richard Buchanan for tuning in on our Facebook live feed. Anybody out there can be in touch. Text me, phone me, email me at 07835 on the... Um, on your phone, text me or email me studio at eastcoastfm.co.uk. You can also be in touch on our Facebook live feed. That is live right here, right now. Kenny McCabe is back. Hello. Right. Tuned up and ready I'm to tuned go. up now. Anyway, back to stand up with the cap on too. Cap, yes, well done. Right. <laughs> I was listening, you see. Yeah. Listening to one of you. Um, tell me and tell the listeners how people can be in touch. Have you got a Facebook page, a Twitter feed? Yeah, I have a. I'm not on Twitter actually. It's something I've never done. I don't. Okay. Uh, I might do. I might change my mind about that. But I, uh, I have a Facebook page uh, which goes under the title of Kenny McCabe Songs. Okay. Um, that's the only thing. I don't have a website as such. I don't to see the point of them nowadays you know I mean, right, okay. Facebook does the job for you regardless yeah. of regardless of your views on Facebook yeah, <laughs> yeah you know okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper as well yeah you're uh, right it's definitely uh, cheaper yeah, yeah, yeah. we are yeah. live on Facebook at the moment we can't badmouth Facebook too much because we are anyway we won't we won't we, won't. we can't badmouth Twitter however because we're not on them uh, we've still got arguments with them that's the story for after the show yeah uh, um, so, uh, Kenny McCabe songs. Yes, yes. What we'll do is when we finish, before we finish, we'll get a picture underneath the Score Stephen banner, and we'll get a picture of my face and your face, and we'll cool. put a wee link on for both. Smashing. Um, we'll do that just as you leave. Yeah. And you've got a YouTube channel. Um, I have a YouTube channel under my own name. Uh, there's not a lot on it. There's some there's some drumming videos on the on that, and there's a couple of snippets of me recording my album from a couple of years ago. Uh, but there's not much uh, on that. Um. Uh, what you have in there in your hands that's an e- one? that's a little EP I oh, put together okay. uh, of four tracks uh, only one of them is on the album the three tracks are not available anywhere else other than that oh, CD, CD. Okay. which I, 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 I tend to carry that about with me um, eventually I'm going to have a band camp page or something okay. like that because my plan for this year is uh, not only to put my first album on CD and take it off of Spotify put it on CD and sell it to that but I've also almost finished recording a second album right uh, okay and that will be done on CD as well uh, I'm hopefully by the end of the summer I might have both of them both CDs ready. ready to go yeah, oh, okay yeah. we can talk about that a little bit more mm-hmm. later in the show uh, let's move on to song number two track yep. number two okay okay well this is from the aforementioned second album <laughs> Um, this song is called Sing Along, and it's about your average drunken punter that turns up to a pub when you're playing a cover set. Okay. Musicians out there that listen to the words might recognise some of the people that are mentioned in this. Okay. Yeah.
along by Kenny McCabe right here on the sessions on 107.6 again. Thank you very much. I was almost singing along with that chorus there. <laughs> <It wasn't quite. laughs> There's a trick there. There's a trick there somewhere, yeah, isn't there? Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, have you got any gigs or shows or no. open mic nights? No. no. Um, I, I've took a bit of time off uh, going to these sort of open uh-huh. mic nights in the recent in the recent months. So I'm going to try and get back into it. Though so, uh, one of the other bands I'm involved with, uh, it's a band called Bulky Matron. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, um, we play quite a lot um, open mic nights. Uh, a, a guy called Phil Ramsey puts a lot of things on in Edinburgh, so we play quite a lot of his nights. So I'm going to get back to doing that again because um, that's always fun. But no, it's um, it's it's a funny old game going out and singing mm-hmm. yourself, especially if you're used to like I'm used to being a drummer and behind having, the drum kit behind the drum kit and I'm surrounded by other musicians mm-hmm. going out and standing at the front of the stage with just the guitar for protection is, is a, a whole new ball game. It, it really is, you know. So and it's a confidence thing as well, you know, because mm-hmm. you are totally out of your, your comfort zone and sometimes it can get to you and other nights it's great. So uh, but yeah, I think that, that's another ambition for this year to to get out a lot it's, more and do stuff. Do like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, as soon as you do, send me the information and I'll give them a I certainly out. will, thank you. And now thank that you. I've got your, your EP, I can pull yes. back as well. Ah, cool, you a indeed. Um, we're going to talk about the recording, the new album. Yes. Tell me first about the old album. Was it recorded just you, just singer song later? I, um, I recorded it and did everything. Okay. So I uh, did the drums, then the, the bass, the guitars, and singing, keyboards, everything. I, I, dab- okay. I dabble in everything. I'm a drummer first and foremost, that's what I do, but mm-hmm. I dabble in everything else, uh, and I always have really. In fact, piano was the first instrument I played, but it got, as soon the drums took over because they're much more fun. Fair uh, enough, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, when I went in to record, I thought I, it was a conscious decision to do everything myself, mainly because I didn't have the time or the energy to teach each, uh, mm-hmm. teach each part Remember to other to, musicians. Yeah, and. See, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the only other thing I got uh, done in it was my friend Alex, who plays with me in Bulky Matron. He played saxophone and trumpet on about four or five of the tracks okay. on, on the first album, uh, just to add a, a bit more of a colour to certain tracks. Um, and the new album? The new album is just me so far. No, I've, okay. I've, I've not thought of any brass parts for Alex yet. I might, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and roughly speaking, how far through <coughs> are we? Um, I, everything's tracked. I've got to fix some vocals, uh, either techno- te- through, te- through technology or actually sing it again. Um, okay. And uh, then just mixing, really, and mixing and mastering, and that'll be it done, I think. So, not far and, away. And do we have a kind of time scale? Is that... A month? No, is it no. A year? Is it... <laughs> no, I actually started recording it about a year ago. Okay. The first album took about a year and a half to record, but I only spent 70 hours in the studio. I totted it all up, you see. Okay. 70 hours over a year and a half, which isn't particularly isn't long. Too bad, no, it's... Everything was pretty much prepared before I went in. Mm-hmm. I knew all the parts that I had to do and I had them all written down. Uh, but then it's, it's scheduling and working around work and yeah. families mm-hmm. and stuff like that. You know, that's and, that's and always the, the time, that's right? always the hard bit. You know, so but I think uh, I think I've spent even less recording this next album, uh, which okay. has been about a year since I did the drum tracks. Uh, but I think I've only had about like four sessions. Okay. To do that, you know. Well, so, uh, I've, yeah. I've said it already, but as soon as it's as soon as it's finished, as soon as you've got I the end result, be. send I it. I will in. indeed. I will indeed. You yeah. can post me a hard copy or send me the MP3s oh, if that's easier. I'll stick it through the door. Stick no, it through no, the door. You, you are, know right? where we are. Yeah. Um, let's move on to track number three. Stephen Barber has been in touch on our Facebook live feed. Said, "Hello, guys. Thanks, Stephen. I don't know if cool. you know Stephen. Uh, no." I don't know Stephen either. I don't, maybe I should. I maybe, maybe I do, maybe I have met Stephen, <laughs> but just not a name I recognise no, right no, away. No. Um, Stephen, thank you very much for being in touch. Um, Let's go for track number three. Tell me a bit about the third song. Uh, well, this is the title track of that EP that you've been holding. This is called Running. Uh, this is a song all about uh, a dog that ran away and he kind of find his way home. Okay. Um, and there's a video for this on YouTube, which I should have mentioned. There's an animated video. If you look in the back of that EP, there's a mm-hmm. picture of a dog. That dog is the star of the video. Right, okay. And uh, you need you need a box of tissues when you're watching the videos. Right, okay. It's no meant to be a happy tune, you know. Right. <laughs> Don't think that anyone is the honest. Again. 
performed by Kay McCabe right here in the sessions on 107.6. Originally from It's Always Sun Shines on Everyone. Uh, uh, always Shines for Everyone. It always Shines for Everyone. I yeah. can't read that right in the yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to get my, I need to go back to the opposition or something. Um, it's also available on the EP, running EP, Kenny McCabe, on the Facebook live feed, and um, there's a down. Um, thank you very much for Stephen Barber for being in touch. He's still with us on the Facebook live feed. And yes, Stephen, I've just clicked to who you are. He has sent some bands my way in the past. Ah, uh, right, Tammy right. Miller and the Silver Coast and many, many more. He's, he's thumbs up and a nice song. Cool. So, ah, thank you very thank much, you. Stephen, for being in touch. Um, tell me about other bands you have. You mentioned already. Bulky Matron. Bulky Matron. Yes. Uh, You're going to have to have a look for them. Yeah. The, 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 how they got the name is interesting. Alex was. He's retired now, but he, when he was working, he was playing about when he should have been working with an anagram generator. Okay. Uh, oh, right. And uh -huh. he was putting names of other people in his office into this anagram <laughs> okay. generator. Uh, okay. The best one was Malky Burton, which right. came out as Bulky Mitchum. So, uh, okay. so that's how the name came out. So yeah, I do that, uh, which is... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, so there's some stuff available on Bandcamp with that. 
Um, the only other thing I do, I mean, I play a lot of weddings mm -hmm. most weekends called Gold Star. Uh, so that's uh, that keeps me busy that way. Uh, I'm going to be doing some playing uh, in the very near future with a band called Mega Band. Mega, we had yeah. Mega in here a few weeks ago. Yes, I. Um, I've yeah. already recorded two drum tracks for right. them. Uh, so I think there's going to be something in the pipeline very soon with, with that. Um, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric Hornswoggle has Eric joined you? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it, uh, that's a. Uh, is that official? Or is I don't that know if it's official or not. I don't know. It's, it's, jam with you it's, it's out of my hands for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Josie O'Neill. Josie O'Neill and Alan Moffat and Alan Moffat, Janice Toner. Janice Toner. Yeah, yeah. And there was, there was somebody else in that night. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. It changes, I think, a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I assumed that. Yeah, actually, yeah, with yeah, the... yeah. Anyway, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah, they're, they're... they're topsy to every world of rock and roll. They are a bit yeah, of a mega yeah. band, aren't they? <laughs> a bit of a question mark. Mega with exclamation marks, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will give them a mention later on. I think yeah. we might play one of their songs that are in the show. Yeah, cool. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just go to the next song. Right, we've got time for two. I think we've got plenty of time. There's nobody else in after you tonight. So we'll All right, okay. Time. So we've got time for two more. Is it, it's up, the, up to the wife, I don't know. The, wife, she, the wife's she, sitting she, through studio too. Hello, Carol. Hello, Hello Carol. If you can't quite yeah. see me. Thank, thank you for... Thank you. <laughs> um, we're not going to get on the Facebook Live. We do want to no, embarrass no, 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 no. Um, Let's move on to track number four. Uh, okay, this is from the, the second album, uh, in, which is in production uh, at the moment. Uh, I think when I was writing this song, um, I wanted it to turn out like a, a good rock ballad, kind of Bon Jovi power, okay. power grab sort of uh -huh. thing. Didn't turn out quite that way, but I mean, yeah. that, that was the initial intention, you know, so. And it's, it's a bit of a sad breakup song anyway, but uh, um, it's called Water. Yeah. 
Kenny McCabe right here in the sessions, live right here in the sessions on 107.6. Absolutely beautiful sound there at the end. I'm trying to work out all these chords, but my, my musical brain is not working tonight. I'm trying. I, the drummer chords, that's what they're Drummer chords, yeah, they, they yeah. shouldn't work, but they do. They they're do. Well, that's the, my, my method of songwriting. Uh, mm. One of my big, big songwriting heroes is Andy Partridge okay. of XTC. And uh, uh, I was delighted when I watched the, the, the big documentary f about them, when he was describing the way he wrote some of his songs. Mm -hmm. and he said, it's literally, just put your hand on the fretboard and make a chord that you've never played before. And that's what I do. Okay. I, I, I tend to just like make up chords. I haven't got a clue what they're called. I don't, <laughs> no, have, a clue right, to, I don't have a clue if they make sense even to other guitarists. But it's, it's how I write. Because I write music first, I, I I add lyrics and melody after. After, okay. I always write the music first, and if it if it says something to me and it's interesting to me, not only as a musician but as a music listener, if that sounds yeah. decent, then I'll, I know I can keep it and work on it. Okay. Uh, but that's what I do, and you know I don't know what half these chords are. Okay. I don't know. I don't particularly need to know. A lot of the sound the way they shoot in my head, yeah. you know. It sounds absolutely brilliant. I'm, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to keep up musically, but I can't. I do a bit of guitar teaching and bass teaching. Aye, aye, I'm, aye. I'm, I'm, I'm musically yeah. myself. I've got a bass craft tattooed on my wrist. Indeed, aye, um, yeah. I It sounds amazing. Thank you cool, very much. Cool, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, we've got time for one more, but before we do our last tune, we need to mention one more person that's popped into our Facebook live feed. Colin Mack, or Colin McAllister, is watching from Ireland. All right, cool. So I, don't know, yeah. I don't know if you know him. Or no, well, oh, oh, cool. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank cool. you for joining us. Share the page, share share Kenny's stuff, share my stuff, be in touch, get out there, that's what this show is all about. And how can people be in touch with you? The best way is probably on Facebook? Facebook, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, I won't give my phone number out. No, it's not a good idea. Probably not good idea. You can contact me here, 07835 as he's close to FM right here, right now. Um, and Kenny McCabe on, Kenny McCabe's songs on Facebook. Facebook, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, I think I've liked and tagged your personal page on the video but yes uh, after. No, it doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. Uh, either or, we'll either or it's fine yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, thank you very much Kenny thank thanks you for having me Elmo cheers mate. thank you very um, much any, I've said it already I'll say it again anytime you've got anything to promote gigs or yep. albums or repeats yep. anything or any other band you're in yep. get them to be in I will touch do, I will do that you've seen the too. space you've seen what we've got yeah, we can have yeah. a wee percussion space oh, yeah, yeah. Um, mm, yeah yeah could, that would work yeah, we could do bits and pieces with the other band totally with them Bulky Matron. Aye, aye, I'll, I'll, I'll see what they're up to. And see what they're up to. <laughs> we can, we can try, we'll yeah. maybe sort something out. We'll Busy see. people. Well, I know what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do a few months' time, summer time. Aye, aye, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, track five, tell me about your fifth and final song. Well, this uh, this is a relatively new song, actually. It's, it's slated for album number three, but never that's going to happen. Okay. Um, in my in my life as a busy musician, I don't make enough money from that. So during the day, I deliver parcels. Okay. Yes, for a well-known online delivery company. Uh -huh. um, and um, I've always wanted to write a song that would kind of cover that, and of course it would necessarily be Delivery Man or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, not only Elvis Costello, but also Ricky Ross from Deacon Blue. He beat me to that as well. That yeah, they yeah. both got songs about Delivery Man. But so I thought, well, there's got to be another way of doing this. So it's become more of a song about trying to convince people that yes, they did order that parcel and it has <laughs> got the name on it. And it's also combined with going out and playing these open mic nights and not a soul in the place is listening to a thing you're doing. Oh, okay. Which yeah. is a very frustrating experience, I have to say. But not they're not all like that, but most of them are. Yeah, anyway, but, so this song is called Something For You. Check the door, first thing to do. Check the 
service person Finally is customer there Restricted access to the stair Practiced hard work, callous skin Something for you, uh, performed by the singer songwriter Kenny McCabe, right here on the sessions on 107.6. A huge thank you to everybody out there for staying tuned in and for being in touch. Uh, Debs Duncan has been in touch, and Colvin Denham has just joined us right at the end there. And um, thank you very much to everybody. Uh, there's a wee message there from um, Colin McAllister saying, saying he's a friend of your wife Carol. Oh. <laughs> Just do that, yeah. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe you know who we're talking about now. Uh, maybe that's an end joke, not quite sure. That's fine. Uh, Kenny, thank you very much for coming. Cheers, man. Thanks very much for having me. One, one more time, tell us again how people can be in touch. Kenny McCabe songs on Facebook or just my personal thing. I don't mind that, Kenny McCabe. Uh, and there's also a YouTube channel, well under my name too. Uh, YouTube yeah. or Facebook. Go and find him. Go and share his stuff. Go along to the gigs, go along to everything, go out there and support your local musicians. Kenny, yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Cheers, Ella. Um, I'm going to continue the session tonight with a track from Meantime. This is Unreasonable Behaviour, coming right up after these wee jingle jangly adverts. Cool. And we're clear, just about. Yeah. 